Today we want to share with you, the history of one of the most important Bulgarian kings, who reigned during the first Bulgarian kingdom. His name, Tsar Simeon I, also known as Simeon the Greatest. Simeon was born in 864 or 865, as the third son of Kenyaz Boris I, of Krums dynasty. As Boris was the ruler who Christianized Bulgaria in 865. Because his eldest brother Vladimir was designated heir to the Bulgarian throne, Boris intended Simeon to become a high-ranking cleric, and sent him to the University of Constantinople to receive theological education when he was 13. He took the name Simeon as a novice in a monastery in Constantinople. Around 888, Simeon returned to Bulgaria and settled at the newly established royal monastery of Prislav. Meanwhile, Vladimir had succeeded Boris, who had retreated to a monastery, as ruler of Bulgaria. Vladimir attempted to reintroduce paganism in the empire forcing Boris to re-enter political life. Boris had Vladimir imprisoned and blinded, and then appointed Simeon as the new ruler. Simeon proclaimed Bulgarian as the only language of state and church, and moved the Bulgarian capital from Pliska to Preslav, to better cement the recent conversion to Christianity. During Simeon's rule, Bulgaria spread over the territory between the Aegean, the Adriatic, and the Black Sea. With Simeon on the throne, the long-lasting peace with the Byzantine Empire established by his father was about to end. A conflict arose with Byzantine Emperor Leo VI the Wise. The conquest of Constantinople was the dream of Simeon's life. In 913 his army reached Constantinople. Unable to resist, the Byzantines started negotiations. In one of the palaces of the Byzantine capital, the Patriarch of Constantinople bestowed on Simeon the title King of the Bulgarians, equal to that of the Emperor. For the first time, a Slavic ruler had the title of King. Not long after that Byzantium rejected the agreement and military actions were resumed. The Bulgarian Kingdom and the Byzantine Empire faced a decisive battle. In the summer of 917, the large Byzantine army started its march against Bulgaria. On 20th of August, near the river Ahaloi, by the village of the same name near Burgas, the Bulgarian army defeated the Byzantines in a bloody battle. This terrible made Byzantium look for the help of the Serbs in order to divert the attention of the Bulgarian king. But after a few punitive attacks, in 924 Simeon conquered Serbia as well. The Bulgarian kingdom reached its greatest territorial expansion. During Simeon's reign, Bulgaria reached its cultural apogee, becoming the literary and spiritual center of Slavic Europe. In this respect, Simeon continued his father Boris' policy of establishing and spreading Slavic culture and attracting noted scholars and writers within Bulgaria's borders. It was in the Preslav Literary School and Ord Literary School, that the main literary work in Bulgaria was concentrated during the reign of Simeon, in the new Cyrillic alphabet which was developed there. In 927, the Patriarchate of Constantinople recognized the autocephalous status of the Bulgarian Orthodox Church, and acknowledged its patriarchal dignity. The Bulgarian Patriarchate was the first autocephalous Slavic Orthodox Church. On 27 May 927, Simeon the Great, died of heart failure in his palace in Preslav. The time of Tsar Simeon's rule was, without any doubt, a pinnacle in the Bulgarian political might and main in the European East. Its attainment had naturally, and to a large extent been in the making of a pleiad of Bulgarian politicians, who were capable of ruling Bulgaria well, from the beginning of the 9th century, up till the start of Tsar Simeon's rule. The obvious merits of the Bulgarian ruler, however, should not be neglected. He was unusually talented a politician, a warrior and a man of letters. Tsar Simeon's versatile activities set an example which was followed not only by the Bulgarian but also by other Slav rulers and politicians between the 10th and the 14th centuries. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to share and subscribe to Foreigner BG Facebook page and YouTube channel.